What are you doing here? Well, yes, of course I do. Don't you know who I am? I suppose James never told you. Typical. I'm Dr. Madison Lee. I worked with your father many years ago. Your mother as well, in fact. You'll have to forgive me. This has all been very stressful. What with your father suddenly showing up here after being gone for so long? You have to understand that I... We put all of that behind us. Project Purity, our work, all of it. We've moved on, even if your father hasn't. Yes. Dr. Zimmer, we've been over this. We don't know about your runaway robot. But, and we don't care. This lab is dedicated to solving real problems. Yes, yes, yes. You there. What are you, some kind of lab assistant? No, you look a bit more weathered. Are you by any chance for hire? This could be an opportunity of a lifetime for you. I've misplaced some very sensitive property, and you will help me find it. You'll be searching for an android. Do you know what an android is? No, I imagine you don't. All you know of robots are those buckets of bolts, those Mr. Handshakers and whatnot. Well, that's not all a robot can be. Not in the Commonwealth. I'm talking about artificial persons that think and feel and do what we program them to. And occasionally, they get confused and wander off. You're helping me retrieve this android, aren't you? I've tracked him this far. He's out there somewhere, in the Capital Wasteland. He must have done something drastic, like facial surgery and a mind wipe, or else I would have found him by now. It will be no easy task. He may not even realize he's an android. Don't upset him by talking with him. Just come get me immediately. I'll handle it. How quaint. Of course you'll be rewarded. I have at my disposal advanced technology from the Commonwealth. I'd be willing to share some of it with you. Just think, you'll be the envy of all your friends. Excellent! Locate my android and you won't be disappointed. Here, listen to... Yes, sir? Don't even think of breaking into that. Want to do some buff out? Maybe a little psycho? sleep. Maybe a quick fix is something that will help you sleep. Cindy's got all kinds of good kids. I'll try it.
Welcome to... This here is Flack and Shrapnel's gun shop. Pretty... Another satisfied cus Good. <laughs> to see you. Have a seat anywhere. Someone will be with you in a minute.
Big idea. How the hell did you get in here? Hmm. <laughs> I suppose you can't be all that bad if you made it this far without dying. This is the part where you tell me what the hell you are doing bothering an old man who obviously wants to be left alone. Get on with it already. What? I have better things to do than yak about those backstabbers up topside. Now get going. Like I care what you savages read. Shove off and leave an old man to rest in peace. I live here. It's where I do my work. And it's far away from Dr. Lee and all those other monkeys dressed up like scientists. You made it past my defenses, which proves you aren't a dummy. And you haven't killed me. So I suppose you aren't here to do that. I suppose you can hang around if you want. Just don't touch anything. The secret kind. Well, if you must know, I'm an electrician and computer expert. And I'm a bit of a surgeon. Really, the most gifted scientist you'll find. <laughs> I'm the guy that got Rivet City up and running in the first place. And after all that, Lee and her gang of flunkies pushed me out. Ha! <laughs> Project Purity, indeed. What a bunch of morons. They can't even clean some water. What? <laughs> I know lots of things, but you've got no idea about most of them. Now, get going before I stop talking and start shooting. Don't let your guard down.
Is there a problem? I don't exactly have time to worry about the history around here, not do I? Hey! Leave me alone! This is none of your business! Wanna do some buff out? Maybe a little psycho? Good to see you. Hey. I'm Janice Kaplinski. If it hasn't got to do with the science quarters, I'm probably not the one to ask. And Dr. Lee's so busy, Yeah. The Weatherly Hotel is a good... If you need something specific, please make it quick. I could tell you all about the science lab. But even though I was here near the start, I can't really help with the details of how it all worked out. It all seems like a lifetime ago. I'm afraid I've had a lot of things on my mind since those early days. Find him! Welcome to the Weatherly Hotel. You don't look so tough. Don't mind me. Stay chill, dude. Welcome to Welcome to Potomac Attire. Straight. Thanks. Why, I practically set this whole place up. When I got here 12 years ago, it was just a handful of dead-enders squatting in a rusted-out rowboat. Now I'm on the council, and with my leadership, we're the strongest settlement in the wastes. Of course, a few of those dead-enders still stick around, but who'd want to leave? That's just a technicality, really. This wasn't what you'd call a settlement until I whipped them all into shape. More of a camp, really. But I suppose if you really care about what they have to say, you could grill some of the hangar deck rabble. Don't expect a speck of truth from them, especially not that bartending crone, Belle Bonnie. She tells the most disgusting lies. Precisely. After sponsoring the settlement and organizing the city council, I took my rightful place at its head. Oh, of course, we're all equals there. People would complain if we didn't at least say that. But you and I know better, don't we? Why? Uh, 
I'll... Give me a shout if you need it. If you want a gun, you've come to the right place. Welcome to Rivet City Supply. I've got a little bit of everything here. Hello. May I take your order? Could I have some iguana bits and a Nuka Cola, please? One of the new immigrants died of radiation poisoning. I sleep. Maybe it might fix us something that will help you sleep. Nice to see you. Good to see you. I'm Belle Bonnie, and this is the Muddy Rudder. I'll tell you what I tell all the fresh meat. Don't start anything down here, or I'll have Brock kick your ass. You must be drunk. Are you gonna order, or what? History? What, not enough shit around here already? You need to dig up more? Don't know if it ever had an official start. It's just been here forever. Stuck in the river and full of assholes. No, but I can damn sure share a bag of get the hell out of my bar. First one's on the house. Now scram. Huh. Why, that lying son of a bitch. He wasn't even born when I got here. Wanna know this tub's history? Only person who really knows it is Pinkerton. And most think he's dead or gone. He's holed up in the other half of the ship. And he don't like visitors. He'll set you straight. Good to see you. Yes? Stay chill, dude. 